Good morning! Welcome back to another moving vlog. Currently it is 8 a.m. But don't be fooled. I have been up since literally like I think seven. Only an hour, truly. But in the meantime, Jacob went and got me like Starbucks. He's low-key been being a W boyfriend. And then he also got me Chick-fil-A breakfast because if you don't know, that means that you do not follow my Instagram, which is like very offended. You need to go follow my Instagram. But anyways, I'm obsessed with the Chick-fil-A breakfast now in exact the chicken, egg, and cheese biscuit with tomato. Oh. And then he also got me a pumpkin stone from Starbucks because this is like a pastry, like you need to have it. Anyways, today is moving. I'm just over it, honestly. So today my dad is gonna come and pick up all the boxes. So we have pretty much almost, I would say like 70% of the house boxed up. Jacob is being shy because I have an editor now. Not for this video though. I'm here. Ta-da! <laughs> he's editing some of my videos, so he's being shy because the clips are gonna be censored. So I'll say you don't hear him talking. Normally he'd be talking shit. But anyways, we have to go to Beverly Hills right now to get my sculpture checkup. Stop squeaking that ball. We got coffee, I needed coffee. So we got, since when? Like Jacob got a dark ass coffee and Jake doesn't like coffee. I don't even like dark coffee. He's a new, changed, improved man. We're gonna eat real quick because we need to head out. And I also, while we're there, I need to get a few things on Creative Merrill. I know, don't freak out. I know we just went. We're only gonna get a little bit of stuff. All right, we are building more boxes. You guys know the drill. Moving 101. We were eating and then I hear like, I'm just gonna like tea time with Matt. Actually, I can't be too loud because they're gonna hear. But we were just eating, right? And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to the restroom. And I was hearing some noises, but I didn't like, I don't know, my brain just didn't put two and two together. And it's like yelling. Our neighbors are already like pretty loud on its own. So I was like, oh, they're probably just fucking around. But then I ignored it a little bit and I was like, Jake, go take Ellie out to pee. So Jake takes Ellie out and Ellie starts freaking out. And I was like, what the fuck? So I go outside and there's these people fighting. I feel like things like these always happen to me when I'm about to leave a place. And I think it's like God's way of making my move a lot easier. With this, that fucking scared me. So I'm ready to go. I am ready. I just got out of my sculpture appointment. His office was like up there. He's probably looking at me. And now we're going to Crate and Barrel and I'm meeting Jake. You know how long it looks for that jacket right now? How long? Too long. This is not house shopping, but there's a Lululemon and we're gonna hit it. Oh my God! All right, this is Pottery Barn. Oh my gosh, look at that olive tree. Here's my dilemma. This pot right here is the same size as the one I have at the house, but I feel like it's too big. They have this other one right here, half the size, and I think it's just gonna look better because my mirror's not that big. You know what I mean? Oh. Who would've thought we'd be stuck buying plant stems for $20 a piece? This is an olive tree, and this, a bunch of feathers, I don't know for what, but they're gonna look good. I'm gonna style them to be super, super pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Today's sponsor is Rocket Money, which is formerly known as Truebill. If you don't know what Rocket Money is, it's an all-in-one platform that allows you to save money, spend less. You guys know that I just moved into a new house, so the spending has been crazy. Like, when I say crazy, I mean so crazy. And it's funny because Rocket Money literally keeps me in check. The other day, I had gone to Target and I had spent, and I don't think, like, when you're spending money, you don't realize how much you're spending. And then I got this email, so it was from Rocket Money telling me, like, a large balance was taken from your account, and I was like, damn. So it really makes you stay alert of things. The personal finance manager allows you to manage all the subscriptions you have, lower your bills, manage your credit score, build your savings all in one place. My favorite part about the whole app is that it actually tells you what bills are coming up because you can easily, easily forget that, like so freaking fast. And I know you guys probably see these type of like sponsorships in every video where it's like, oh, finance app, da, da, da. No, I actually really love Rocket Money. And I think it's hard when you become an adult and you have all these bills coming in, and you have all these expenses and you don't know where is what. This app just makes you manage it all together and I love it so freaking much. I just wish I could explain to you guys that, yes, it's a sponsorship, but I freaking love it. The app is so well laid out. It'll show you your recent transactions. To save more and spend less, Join the 3.4 million members that are on Rocket Money. I got you guys hooked up. If you go to rocketmoney.com slash Natalie or just click the link down below, I will make it super easy for you guys. You can get started for free. Thank you so much for Rocket Money for sponsoring this video.
Okay, I'm home. Um, it's been like a little bit. Actually, no, it's not been a little bit. It is 9 p.m. right now. 9 p.m., babe. Basically, I got home and then I was a YouTuber, you know? I had to edit and then I had to post. But now it is literally so late and my house is packed and my dad is coming to pick up all my shit. Which, that was supposed to happen today, but he actually rescheduled with me, which thank goodness, because I don't have anything packed. I don't know what to do. Honestly, I just have these on because I'm sad. It is like... 77 degrees in this house and I'm wearing a hoodie because I'm sad And I just want to dig myself in a hole and never come out Literally, there's so much to do and there's not people to do it. That's what the problem is like there's so much to do But there's no one to do it. But anyways I just got distracted on tiktok Oh my gosh, I'm not in good shape. Okay, anyway, so we need to work. So let's start off with the bathroom. Then we're gonna work our way over to the other side of the house. Before we left to go shopping and to my checkup, I was filling this box right here and it's like pretty much almost done. Let's get started. Hot overhead And I guess Love to watch the nice. way you made me into a mess Hands on my dress Neon red You were everything I didn't need until you left Now I'm dancing around my living room I get drunk on my thought of you and I When you were mine See your eyes in every stranger It is 11 p.m. now, and this is the progress. My clothes is bagged up on this side, only on this side. This other side is not bagged yet. All of the drawers are empty. I took everything out of them, and I boxed them in here. My shoes are gone from that shoe rack, so that's gonna leave tomorrow too. The restroom is completely done and boxed. I basically have to pick up everything off the ground and a few other things in the bedroom, but that's almost all of it. Since I almost got everything done, we get to go to sleep. I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning! It is the next day and I am currently in the biggest rush of my life, per usual. I got ready and I was like getting ready to start packing, you know. And I get a message from one of the builders basically saying that they're going to change my windows right now and they're going to be there in 20 minutes. Bruh. For context, three of our windows were so, so scratched. I was really upset so I called the builders and I told them that. So right now they have the replacement glass and my dad is coming over to move everything in like two hours. And I don't even have everything packed. How do I do this to myself over and over and over? Over again. You definitely think that I would have learned my lesson to not leave everything till last minute by now? Nope. Still the same procrastinating ass bitch. Last night was literally our last night at the apartment and I don't know if I'm okay. I haven't shed tears yet, but it's definitely really, really sad. <laughs> not even gonna lie I'm a little sad I just love the apartment but I hate it I think I hate it more than I love it I love the area I hate the apartment we are rocking them fall vibes today wearing this fall shirt damn I really wonder if we can't go get Starbucks I think I'm just too late Change my windows right now I guess they changed them last time I, I didn't know but I guess it was the wrong glass I don't really know it's I'm rinsing off my dishes because I don't want to put them in the cupboard all dusty. All right, back in my car. They installed the windows and I mean, I'm not going to show you guys because it's literally just a piece of glass. Like, let's go get coffee because the official worst part of moving is yet to come. We still have to go finish boxing and shit. Can I have an apple crisp macchiato, please? Can you also add an extra shot in there? Oh, so excited. I need coffee. I genuinely feel like that's the reason I'm not productive right now. It's because I don't have coffee. Thank you so much, you too. Look at this. Ah, the fall shirt, the fall drink. All right, time to pack. We're packing my office now. This is our handy little box. My dad is 15 minutes away, but off camera, because I don't want to bore you guys, because you're like, bitch, you're like, been packing all these past three videos. I know. So I packed, and the house looks a lot better.
pour rocks in them. No, joda, está muy pesado esto. Sorry, it's because I just wanted to use as many little pots. Sorry. Bruh. I Sorry. My dad just got here and he brought his coworkers, so they're loading everything up, and then we're almost done packing everything, pretty much. First three boxes. Shit. I turned for Dad, what the f Ew, you're so good. Look at you on a harness doing so good. Alright, y'all. My dad didn't take down TV while I was out of the package room because I got a message that my little plastic wrap got delivered. We're gonna wrap the TV so it doesn't get scratched. <gasps> it has a hole. Ah! Oh, Edgar! Should have been looking. Tita, Tia! so it doesn't break, because we still have to take apart the whole bed frame. <laughs> yeah. hey. Who's gonna patch these? Because I ain't paying for this. <laughs> Dad, take my <laughs> Dad, take that shit off. My shoe rack and then my other dresser over here are gone. All of that is staying, and then I'm gonna come back for my clothes tomorrow. Bed is gone, TV's gone, bunch of tags on the ground that we need to come pick up. We're taking that TV, which is gonna be hung up in the living room. That's pretty much it. So we'll come back to get the rest of the stuff tomorrow. But we're not sleeping here anymore. Officially! Oh, that's so sad. I'm like kind of sad. I'm like emotional a little bit. We're gonna sleep at the new house because my dad's gonna build a bed over there. That's it. Last night was the last night. So sad. We're leaving! My truck full of stuff. We just got here. Everything's coming down already. It's hard work with you. The free? <laughs> now the hardest part is unloading everything. That's the TV. Jake, you good? Yeah, I can never be a dad. Oh my god, that shit's gonna fall. <gasps> Guys! Fuck you, no le has puesto fuego. Oh, we don't have a light bulb. Today we're doing this all day. I'm not a man, I'm a boy still. All right, we're gonna sleep on a mattress. That's Ellie, get off of the mattress. Get off of the mattress. Hey, Ellie. Oh my. Thea, get off of the mattress. Oh. Oh. Jake went to go get Chick-fil-A for my dad, my mom, and then the other worker. But she also made menudo, and that's what I'm grubbing on right now. I don't want no Chick-fil-A, I want menudo. I have not had this food in freaking years. I'm just trying to be all moved in right now. 
Mm. My parents just left, so they left everything in the garage. I put a photo right here of how it looks because it's getting too late to put everything up. So right now it is 9 p.m. We don't got any clothes. I just got my makeup bag, face wash stuff, and toothbrush. I mean, we got some shampoo and legit one pair of underwear. Tomorrow we have to like unbox at least some of my clothes so I can start washing because we have nothing. I have cotton pads but no micellar water. Are you kidding me? I will see you guys tomorrow morning. We're gonna sleep in our handy little mattress down there.